Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasion series of YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're going to do a for loop for Simpsons rule. But before we do that, if you are just doing your own homework here, uh, we're on this several online calculators, emathelp.net. Simpsons rule, enter the function, naught to one, even number of rectangles. Does the solution in great detail. So I just did that and then just does the total there at the end. Down here, 74, 68, 29 or 24, I can't read. But anyway, 74, 68, 24, etc. So let's have a little look in MATLAB. So before we start, just to remind you that the first entry in an array in MATLAB is position 1. In most other languages, it's position 0, programming languages that is, and this gives rise to a little bit of trouble. And I know for <coughs> MATLAB devotees, there'd be a, a nicer way of doing it, but we're going to do a plain for loop today because first year engineers, first year scientists, first year mathematicians need to get used to a for loop and this is how we do it. So, just here, the bit of code, we tidy up, clear the workspace, clear the console window and close any figures that are open. I list the variables that I'm going to use, I'm not going to go through them, but just trying to document them there. Put in a little image there, what I'm going to do, the width of the strip over 3, the first and the last, four times the sum of the odds and twice the sum of the evens. Put in another little image there, no need for you to do that if you just want to write the program. And let's have a little look at the code here. So, start value is 0, last value is 1, 10 is there, the strip width is got that way, the first term is there, second term is there, and did an fprintf to print it out, which is 1. F print F of the last term, which is there, 36.79. Now, just to slow down here a bit, remember for here we want Y1, Y3, Y5, etc. So what you have to do is go from 2 to 10 in steps of 2, but remember it's Y1, Y3, Y5, etc. So what you have to do is you have to take 1 off the counter. So you have to say A plus i minus 1. So you're getting 1, 3, 5. Sorry, yeah, 1, 3, 5, 7. We get the f odd there and then we increment the f odd term on that line there. So we just get the running total. And what I did at the end of the odd terms was I just summed them. Now this is before I multiplied them by 4. So that's okay there. We're going to encounter the same problem with the even. Remember we want 2, 4, 6, 8, but our counter has to go 3, 5, 7. And then in this line here, we have to take 1 off i to get 2, 4, 6, etc. On line 21, we get the even term. And then on line 22, we get the running total of the even terms. And line 24, I just printed out. And you can compare the answer I get there with the answer that I got on emathelp.net. And then on line 25, it's the width over 3, the first plus the last, 4 times the sum of the odds, twice the sum of the evens. And then I just printed it out there on an fprintf. And we get it to four decimal places here. Why four decimal places? Because I said percent point four f is seventy four sixty eight. Okay, so hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.